Hi YouTube, welcome to another Blender quick tip tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use um, some tricks with origins and empties to mirror objects that are uh, centered on asymmetrical meshes. So this character here, I've been building just to learn about rigging with um, asymmetrical meshes, multiple heads, uh, you know, different stuff like that. So for this video, we're going to um, mirror the eyeball and I'll show you how to use empties and play with the origins of the empties so that you can easily mirror about things that are not centered. So if I look at the front of this character, it's got two heads. Um, they're not the same size or scale. I'll turn on the rig real fast. So you can see the rig is also not symmetrical. Um, and I use the same method to place all of the bones in the heads. So what you're gonna do is you're going to add an empty and that's gonna basically become a placeholder for the center of the part of the object that you wanna um, mirror around. So to do that, just hit Shift plus A, that'll bring up the add menu and you'll just come down here to empty and I just added a plain axis and that's what this is. So to do the eyeballs on this head, Obviously it's not centered about the world. Um, if I click on the body, the origin is centered at the center of the world, but the head obviously isn't. So if I mirror this eyeball around the world origin, it's gonna show up like over here somewhere. And that's not what we want. So um, the trick is really super simple. And like I said, this works for placing bones with Rigify rigs too. So um, I may have a full tutorial on that here soon. Um, just to show you how to deal with this, but so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this empty here and I've basically just placed it at the center of this head. Um, I didn't use any special fancy tricks. I just kind of did it visually. It might be off slightly, but it won't be enough to be a problem. So um, I'm going to select that and as you can see the origin of this empty is right in the middle of the head. And that's where we want to mirror about. So there's a couple ways to do this. One, you could just mirror about this empty, but um, that won't work for placing bones and doing certain other types of work. So what I want to do is I want to right click and I want to snap the cursor to the selected. Okay, and then I'm going to click on the body, right click, and I'm going to go to uh, set origin and origin to 3D cursor. So now what I've done is I've set the origin of this body to this empty. And this isn't necessarily um, needed for just mirroring an eyeball. But if I go into like sculpt mode, for instance, and I turn on X mirror, you can see now that um, any sculpting I do will mirror about the center of the head instead of the entire body. So even, even down here, lower on the body, the mirror is, is not about the center of the world. So let's go back to object mode. So now just, um, to mirror the object, I'm going to select this eye. This one is called buck right eye. And I'm just going to add a mirror modifier. And now here you could use um, the mirror object you could set to this, I've called it the buckhead origin. So if I do that, it's gonna automatically copy the eyeball to the other side. Um, everything looks good on that end. Um, this will be one object, so I'm going to apply this. And then with the, the two eyes, which I want to separate, I'm gonna um, hit tab, go into edit mode. I'm gonna click L on this other eyeball and it'll turn on x-ray mode. You can see it's selected just that side. Um, that's because it'll select loose parts. So with just that eye selected, I'm gonna right click, still in edit mode, separate, selection, and now you can see in the scene collection up here, there are two eyeballs with the same name. So I'm gonna tab out of edit mode, select the other eye, and I'm just gonna change this name to the left eye. 
and um, I'll go into a render preview here so you can see. So it's copied all of the properties, um, all the materials, and it's mirrored about the head instead of the world origin. So the next steps here are to connect it to the rig. And um, to do that, obviously, I'm going to want the origins to be centered on each eye. So you can see I have the um, his left eye, our right side of the screen. Uh, the origin is still set to where the other eye was. So I'm just going to select this eye, right click, and set origin to uh, center of mass by surface. And now the origin's in the middle for this eye. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this one. And just to make sure it's using the same type. So now if I click on these, you can see their origins are centered on themselves. And that is what we want because the rig will use those origin points to control the eyeballs. So that's it for this one. Pretty simple stuff. Um, obviously, hit all those magic YouTube buttons if you thought it was helpful. And let me know what else you'd like to see. Thanks.